What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So, I'm still not feeling good, so I'm going to just wing it. And uh, that was a rough one with the Buckeyes. They had those guys with Georgia, but got to finish strong. That's what happens. But these dividend stocks finished strong in 2022. Uh, they definitely were dividend growth stocks and um, not too expensive. So I'm going to explain to you why I'm buying them. And I believe that they're underrated dividend stocks. Of course, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes only. Disclaimer in the description. But I'm going to show you which ones I'm buying for sure. And I have them on my M1 Finance Dividend Portfolio. I'm actually buying them tomorrow. If you're new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so don't miss future videos. Thank you again. We're at 11,000 subscribers. Smash that like button. Let's check these stocks out right now. First dividend stock is Wendy's. It's sitting at 22.63. Dividend yield of 2.21%, a PE ratio of 26.10. Average volume 1.98 million. The market cap is 4.82 billion US dollars. The tier range is 1577 to 2448. Day range is 2445 to 2276. And its previous close is 2278. Other than being a fast food restaurant, again, I mean, you'll see so many cars in the parking lot at Wendy's. They also started breakfast. So that's another thing that grabbed my attention with these guys, caused me to rebuy them. So they have a lot of opportunities as a company. I'm going to go over a few more things with them. So I'm on Wendy's website. So 2022 has been a milestone year for their brand. And they have not seen global growth this accelerated in nearly 20 years we're on a journey to become a brand of global significance and our priorities to and roadmap to aggressively grow our footprint in the u.s and across international markets are clear to expand globally they must continue to supercharge their new franchise recruiting key growth areas and amongst underrepresented groups unlock incremental traditional growth by leaning in with our restaurant development incentive programs for new and existing franchises and with innovative new designs and asset types. Expand via non-traditional development, including military bases, with creative assets such as our Frosty Cart. So I'm excited to see what we accomplish together in our teams and franchises over the next few years as we reach our goal of 8,850 uh, restaurants by the end of 2025. We have a bright future ahead. And we would like to thank our Wendy's family members for the progress we made this year to accelerate global growth. And here's what excited me. With 30 years of history in Mexico and only 23 locations, we announced plans to significantly expand Wendy's presence in Mexico, where we believe there should be hundreds of Wendy's restaurants across. They put county, but that should probably be country. That might be a typo. In Mexico, we are focused on building long-term relationships with franchi franchisees or who want to grow with us, gosh, I can barely breathe, share our values and reflect communities in which we operate. I am like totally winging it with this video and I'm trying to breathe and hold my cough doing this. So the other thing is they celebrated their 7,000th uh, restaurant in Dacula, Georgia. So that's something that's also impressive. So I'm gonna go over their dividend history, which is very exciting. They have a, an extensive dividend growth history. Check them out starting in 2011. They were $0.02, cents, 2012, $0.04, cents, 2013, $0.05, cents, 2014, $0.06, cents, a little bit of a delay. Then 2017, they were $0.07, cents, 2018, $0.09, cents, 2019, $0.10, cents, 2020, they're at $0.12. Cents. Then you see the pandemic right here. A little bit of a dividend cut, $0.05, cents, and then they came back at $0.07, cents, $0.09, cents, $0.10. Cents. 12 cents, 2021, and then 2022, they're at 13 cents. So that's exciting. Their payout ratio is 62%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is eight. Dividend growth in five years is 7.90%. You bought one share, you made 50 cents with a 2.21% dividend yield. I like the way that these guys are expanding. I'm going to continue to buy more, and I'm going to be long on Wendy's, and I stand by that. Let's check out the next dividend stock. Next stock is a bank stock, fifth. Third Bank Corp. It's sitting at 3281. Dividend yield 4.02%. A PE ratio of 10.10. Average volume 4.38 million. Market cap is 22.52 billion US dollars. Year range is 3092 to 5064. Huge dip. Day range is 3253 to 3299. And its previous close is 3281. So I've 
made it clear for the past two years, the real estate sector and the financial sector, I'm really hitting hard because these guys are at a huge discount. Look what happened in 2020 when the pandemic hit. They were 1291 and still they're struggling. They're at 3281. There's a lot of fears of a quote recession in social media right now. And if you look at the S&P, uh, this past year in 2022, it was terrible. And it's very comparable to 2008 with the S&P. So these guys are taking a while to rebound and I'm taking advantage of these guys since they're sitting at 3281, the big discount right now. So I've been loading up on these guys. And I'm gonna continue to buy these guys. So thank you for the tip off that you guys gave me on this stock to do a review on because I liked it so much that I bought it. Now let's check out their dividend history. And the dividend growth's been solid. Let's start in 2016. It was 13 cents, 2017, 14 cents to 16 cents, 2018, 18 cents, 2019, 22 cents, 2019, 24 cents, 2020, 27 cents, 2021, 30 cents. Then 2023, it was 33 cents. So the dividend growth in five years is 13.66%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is six. The payout ratio is 40%. I like that. It's a low payout ratio. Um, it's not high, so you know the chances are there's not going to be a dividend cut. And their revenue has been pretty solid. I've done numerous videos on these guys. If you bought one share, you made 132 with a 4.02% dividend yield. So I'm going to be loading up on these guys a lot this year and have a lot of confidence in these guys. Again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes. Only disclaimer in the description. But I like these guys. I like the... Um, request that you guys gave me and i'm going to continue to buy more hopefully get to 100 shares soon let's check out the final dividends and intel's one that i'm for sure buying tomorrow it's sitting at 26.43 huge dip dividend yield is 5.52 percent a pe ratio of 8.15 average volume 34.77 million the market cap is 109.08 billion us dollars year range is 24.59 to 56.28 Day range is 2580 to 2646, and this previous close is 2621. So as if you watch my previous video, I'll put it in the top right-hand corner with Intel. It's got a lot of hits to it as well. Uh, these guys have done very well. The company, these guys are looking at expanding microchip facilities in Columbus, which really excites me. And these guys are really cheap at a huge discount with a 5.52% dividend yield. Now, let me go to their dividend history real quick. The dividend growth in 2012, it was 23 cents, 2013, 23 cents. A little bit of, it was a little stagnant, but 2015, it was 24 cents. 2016, it was 26 cents. 2017, 27 cents. 2018, 30 cents. 2019, 32 cents. 2020, 33 cents. 2021, 35 cents. 2022, 37 cents. So the dividend growth in five years is 4.83%. It's not too exciting. But there's a lot of potential with these guys. So the dividend growth and um, number of, excuse me, number of dividend increases in the last five years is five. Payout ratio is 51%. So if you bought one share, you made 146 with a 5.52% dividend yield. I'm going to give you a wild card stock too. And I'm going to start with Pfizer as my wild card stock. Now it's right in the 50s. I'll go over that. But 2011, it was 20 cents. Here's their dividend growth. 2012, it's 22 cents. 2013, it's 24 cents. 2014, it's 26 cents. 2015, it's 28 cents. 2016, it was 30 cents. 2017, it was 32 cents. 2018, it was 34 cents. 2019, it was 36 cents. Then 2020, it was 38 cents. Then 2021, it was 39 cents. Then you get that special dividend right there. And then they jumped to 40 cents and 41 cents in March. So their payout ratio is 25%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is six. Dividend growth in five years is 3.98%. If you bought one share, you made 160 with a 3.12% dividend yield. So again, they're a little bit pricier, 51.24. I'm hoping they decrease in price per share. I know Paxlovid's a big medication that Pfizer is bringing to the table to combat COVID. And um, I'm going to continue to buy shares on these guys. But I wanted to add a wildcard stock for you guys. Let me know what you think of this video. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark Dividend. You guys